Hi boys, I need your help before we get into journal writing today. So if you can think back, we've learned about how a sentence always needs a punctuation at the end. We talk constantly about how they need a what? A period, exactly. But what happens when we are asking a question? We don't put a period at the end of our sentence. What do we put? A question mark. Those are called interrogative sentences. That's a really big word. Can you guys say interrogative with me? I'm going to say it first, and then when I go like this, I want you guys to echo back with me. Interrogative. 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 That's just a fancy word for saying that you're asking a question, that the sentence needs a question mark at the end. Now, I know a few weeks back we talked about declarative sentences. Those are those that just need that, that period at the end. Sometimes I get a little bit confused with whether a sentence needs a period or a question mark. And that's what I need your help with today. So behind me, I have a list of sentences. And if you notice, they are all missing my punctuation at the end. Some of them need a question mark and some of them need a period. But my brain is kind of fuzzy this morning and I really need your help figuring out what I need to put at the end of each sentence. So I'm going to read the sentence to you. And can you do me a favor? Can you shout back at me either period or question mark so I know what I can put at the end of my sentence? Thank you. Then we can get started in our journal writing. But really, this is most important right now. OK, here's my first sentence. It says, I like to play. Am I going to have a period? Is that just stating something? Or is it gonna have a question mark at the end? Is it asking something? Is there a response? I like to play. Help me, period or question mark? What's that? Period? You know, I agree. I'm not asking a question. I'm telling you that I like to play. So that would get a period at the end. That's a declarative sentence. Okay, here's my next one. Are you hungry? Are you hungry? What's that going to get? A period or a question mark at the end? Are you hungry? Is there a response to that sentence? Are you hungry? Well, yes, I am. Well, I guess there is a question or a response for that. So it gets a what? A question mark. All right, exactly. Remember, a question mark looks like this, right? Strawberry down to chocolate dot. That's an interrogative sentence, right? It's asking a question. All right, thank you. Here's my next one. Where do you live? Where do you live? Well, some of you are shouting back at me the town in which you live, so I guess that must be a question, which means I get what at the end of the sentence? A period or a question mark? A question mark, exactly. Similar to the one above. Where do you live also gets a question mark. It's a question. All right, here's the next one. I am excited. I am excited. Well, that doesn't really sound like a question to me, so that's probably going to get a what at the end. A period, exactly. Does anybody remember the punctuation that goes at the end where we really want to sound excited? Because if I'm saying the sentence, I am excited, kind of sounds like it wants me to add some what to my voice, some exclamation, which means I can add a what at the end, an exclamation mark. Exactly. That looks like this, but not a question. All right, two more. Thank you so much for helping me. Here comes the next one. School is fun. Would that get a period at the end or a question mark? School is fun. Right? It's not really a question, so I agree. It would get a period at the end. Okay, here's my final one. Do you like to play? Some of you are shouting back at me, yes, right? Of course you like to play. That's a question. Do you like to play? And then if it's a question, what am I going to put at the end of that sentence? Exactly, a question mark. All right. So what I'm going to do right now, thank you for helping me on deciding whether a sentence gets a question mark or a period at the end. I'm going to jump into my yellow journal and I'm going to ask you guys to join me along because I'm going to tell you exactly what we're doing in our yellow journals today before you guys are on your own. But I'll give you a hint. It has to do with this right here. Okay, 
So come join me in our yellow journal, and then you guys will be on your own. Okay, boys, so we just reviewed a little bit more about interrogative sentences, a sentence that asks a question, right? It's always going to have that question mark at the end. So your job for writing today is come up with your own question, your own interrogative sentence, and you're going to have somebody in your family answer that question. So I've already made a list of some possible questions that you could write in your journal. I'm going to pick one of those and I'm going to write it in my journal just as I would my regular sentence. The only difference is I'm now going to add a question mark to the end of my sentence. So the question I'm going to ask or write about in my journal today is, what is your favorite color? After this, I'm going to go find Mr. Baradin, and I'm going to ask him to answer my question, what is your favorite color? But before I do that, I have to write my sentence, my question. Okay, so just like always, I'm going to stretch out the sounds in each word as I move along in my sentence. So what, the word what has three sounds. What, what. I'm going to start with my uppercase letter. What. Uh, what is, there's my finger space, what is your, you, 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 your, see how I'm slowly stretching out the sounds in each word? What is your fave, a, so that's one word, favorite. Favorite, right? I'm just chunking it down into two separate syllables. Favorite, right? And there's my one word. What is your favorite color? K -k 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 -k. Uh, uh, uh. Color. What is your favorite color? color. Now don't forget, this is an interrogative sentence. It's a question. So what am I going to put at the end of my sentence just like we practiced? Exactly. This is going to get a question mark. So I'm going to take my pencil and don't forget, here's how I do my question mark. Strawberry down to chocolate dot. And there's my question. What is your favorite color? So now you boys are going to think of your own sentence, right? Make sure it's a question. Have that question mark at the end and have somebody in your house answer your question. They can actually respond by writing their response right underneath. Like I said, I'm going to go find Mr. Baradin and have him respond to mine to tell me what his favorite color is, right? I have a Sneaking suspicion it's blue. So what he'll do probably is underneath, write the answer blue. So after you're done writing your question sentence, you can have anybody in your family, mom, dad, babysitter, answer the question by writing the answer right underneath. So they're going to have to do a little bit of homework too. You guys are coming up with the question and somebody, anybody in your house is going to write and respond to your question. Now remember, you can come up with a lot of different questions. What is your favorite season? Do you like ice cream? Um, what do you like to play outside? What is your favorite holiday? Think, generate. What do you want to know about this person? What do you want your question to be? All right, good luck, boys.